Ooh, let's go. How'd that feel? Dude, look pretty good. Look pretty good, I go lie. So that's 305, right? Yeah. All time max is 315. Yeah, 315. So we're gonna try yeah. we're gonna try 325 or what? What are we gonna try? Alright guys, so <laughs> <laughs> just hit 585. Um bar moved pretty cleanly, honestly. Like it felt pretty heavy, right? But I think even like compared to last time when I hit 585, the bar moved pretty well. So I'm actually really happy with that. Like I wasn't slowing down at all, had the rep the whole time, so Definitely, uh, I think I think it was a pretty good rep. So we're gonna back it off now and do uh, probably sets with like 455 or 475 ish, something like that. So yeah, that's what we're doing next. Kyle missed his attempt at 325, but that's all right. He still had 305 today. Looked pretty good. So we're gonna build up from there. So, drops it down to 455 now. Can't get my belt off. <laughs> and yeah, as you guys can see, I got the Inzer belt in finally. Thing's super, super nice. Definitely need to break it in a little bit because it's like bruising me everywhere and like my ribs and everything. So it's so, uh, it's so stiff. Um, but we're gonna break it in a little bit. I definitely like it a lot so far. So we'll do another set of this at 455. Starting off with a T-bar row right here. Uh, not going like super, super heavy. Um, but going with like a nice wider grip. And I'm really just focusing on trying to pull through the elbows and literally just pull it as far as I can up. So like essentially, I feel like the bar is not even there. It's kind of like pulling it through my body. It's getting good squeeze, really warming up and everything. So that's what we're doing right now. Of course, that's not burning ourselves out, but getting blood flowing in the lats. <laughs> Gonna be a little burned out now. introduce everybody here because literally haven't introduced you to any of these guys yet that much so um i just started lifting with mine so yeah it's, it's our first it. actual yeah. workout together honestly yeah. um i always see him up at jesse owens but finally working out together kyle been working out with a couple weeks now like johan Kruganon. i am second year at osu pre-med student and i've been lifting since like winter day grade so Solid, yeah. You play sports in high school? No, I played football. I played See? running back in D-line, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty short. 5'5 D-line and D-end. I, so I got you, I got you, yeah. I was a captain senior year, so. We'll, def we'll definitely have to run some routes or something sometime, yep, for sure. Yep, yep. Kyle, anyway, first, first year here, <laughs> uh, pre-engineering major, um, working out a couple weeks now with Ryan, and uh, looking back into it. <laughs> You, you play any sports? Big big golfer? Yeah, big golfer in high school. Um, <laughs> school record for 18 hole, post round 69, 300. You know, okay. Next, next, next Tiger Woods right here, yeah, huh? Next Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> no, funny thing is, I played against Kyle in like middle school middle football. Middle school football. <laughs> quarterback, bl yeah. quarterback blitz. <laughs> Way back in like seventh grade. It's crazy. So, yeah. Kind of small compared to the other people in men's physique. Like honestly, said I need more like muscle maturity, essentially. Yeah, 
Daniel showing us this different <laughs> alternation. So we literally have two ropes attached on, right? So this is going to allow us to come even past um, where we normally could. So we're bringing it all the way back and pulling a little, little bit further back. So kind of rolling your shoulders back so you get a better squeeze on the long head right here. Let's go. Come on, come on. All the way back, all the way back. All the way back now, come on. Triceps looking crazy. <laughs> Triceps looking crazy, dude. There you go. So right now we are heading up to Chipotle right now again. Um, so gonna get a solid dinner in, and uh, I don't know what we're doing after that. Tonight's not too uh, not too busy of a night, not too much homework or anything, but getting a meal in right now. So. Dinner right there. And uh, me, me and Kyle got some chips over here. Hey, absolutely. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so right now we are uh, looking at some housing for next year. So, with a lot of schools um, around the country, it's basically like you only have to live on campus for one year and then you can like live off campus or whatever, get an apartment. Uh, but in Ohio State, you have to live on campus for two years. So next year, uh, we kind of get to choose where we want to live. So um, right now, we're thinking of getting a six-person suite, right? So like, um, we've got Kyle in our room. We're going to have Drew in her room. We're going to have Grant, a um, bunch of people. Um, so we're getting a six-person suite. And so we're looking at like our options right now, pretty much. Ba basically, how it works is you get a lottery number. Um, it's just completely random, literally. And then you go in at a certain time. If you have a better lottery number, obviously, you get to choose rooms first so the six person suites are like in high demand so that's that's our first option if it doesn't work out we're gonna have to figure something else out but um right now we're looking at some of these so i'll show you what it looks like what we're looking at getting here so essentially so i'll show you guys like what our room looks like right now too with uh four people so right now actually this is, this is not right now this is possibly for next year so um, you got three of the two-person rooms, right? So here's one of the rooms. So it's three separate two-person rooms with a common area here. So essentially you get like the whole couch and all that stuff too, This all this extra space. You get a bathroom, a shower. You get three rooms in here, so lots of space. So this is like ideal, very ideal for what we're looking for next year. Um, if that doesn't work out, then <laughs> we're going to have to figure something yeah, out because yeah. we have like, what, five people or yeah, six five people? people right now. So if it doesn't six work out, we're going to have to like, we're going to have to get like a triple or something like that. Triple, double, like, like three doubles. <laughs> like <laughs> quad and a double. So it, it'll be messed up if we don't get one of these. So that's what we're hoping for. And if not, then yeah. we'll figure yeah, it out. We'll try to get, try to get some super doubles yeah. or something. Because the, uh, the super uh, doubles is basically, yo, so <laughs> it's basically what we have now in Dracket, but with two people. So you get two rooms, two people, all in like one complex. So mm -hmm. that's the plan for that right now. So pretty much we're, we're hoping for the best for this lottery number here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <forget. laughs> the super The super suites are the doubles, super doubles, right? They have a kitchen or no? No, that's only at the Mendoza one. There's also, there's also this one at a place called Mendoza, which is a residence hall. They actually have like, basically a super double, right? So it's two people, 
and you also have like a little mini kitchen too. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like I feel like the kitchen would be nice. That would be super Cook nice. Some yeah. nice meals. It's it's probably very um it says like very limited availability, so I'm sure they go quick, but that would be like super nice to have. Cook up some cook up some protein yeah, pancakes in the morning, you know. You'd be cooking me up those. <laughs> that could be really nice too, so okay. got a couple options here. I'm gonna figure this out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So that is basically our entire room right now. So four people, two little rooms. So the other room is two bunks basically. And we basically changed the entire layout from what it was at the beginning. At the beginning it was like two bunks like right next to each other like this. And we literally like rearranged the dressers and everything and like took one bed, made, made like an L with them. So it's like a little more open now, I guess. So I don't know if it's a little more efficient. We got more space or something, but it looks a little bit nicer. So we moved all that around. So. That's better. And then we got the bathroom over here. If you guys haven't seen from my other videos, but um, that's pretty much the room we have now. Hoping to get something a little bit more spacious next semester or next year, basically. So, so probably just gonna end the video off right here. All right, so we're in the <laughs> we're in the other room right now. Uh, we got all these guys studying, but I'm gonna finish off the video right there. So, just wanted to show you guys basically um, how the how the residence halls are kind of set up and um, at Ohio State and what we're thinking about trying to get for next year, hopefully get some more space and uh, you know, more space to put more L fleet stuff, more VPN supplements and stuff. So more, absolutely more food. And uh, so yeah, it'll be good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody sing that shit.